if you've ever questioned what order your makeup should be applied, like, am I doing it right? Um, am I skipping anything? Should I add anything? I'm not sure if I'm doing this the right way. Today, I'm gonna show you the order that I apply my makeup, right or wrong, and this is how I do it. Hi, I'm Dawn with Just Doing My Best. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm here every week with a brand new video for women over 40 and women over 50 who just wanna look and feel our very best. And this is another video in my series on easy makeup tips for mature women because our face is changing. So I've done a lot of videos in this series and this one isn't product specific. This is just the order in which I apply my makeup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with clean skin and you're gonna watch me just run through it step by step and I'm gonna tell you why I do it in this order. So. Let's get started. Now you always wanna start with skincare. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I have really, really oily skin. So I do a very minimal amount of skincare, like literally just a little bit because since my skin is super oily, it just feels like a mask and it just feels like it's just running down my face. So you really need to play around with it, determine for yourself how much skincare you need, but absolutely start with skincare. After skincare, then the next thing I'm gonna do is a primer. And this is the primer that I use for my eyelids, in the corners of my eyes. I usually like to go all the way around my eyes. And I do have a video about primers. And I put a little bit about my mouth, around my mouth and on the 11 and then I let it kind of soak in for just a just a minute or two just to let it dry and set up now this is the foundation all over face primer that I use I've talked about it several times before it's color correcting it's illuminating it's a hydrating serum it's anti-aging and it's SPF love this so much I do want to point out though I put the eyelid primer on. I do not put this on my eyelids. You really want um, minimal products on your eyelids. They're, they get very oily and the skin is very thin, so you want very, very little on your eyelids. So I'm gonna apply this all over my face, blend it in really, really, really well, and then once I apply it, I'm gonna give it just a couple of minutes to just kind of dry and just set up a little bit before I apply the rest of my makeup. Now I'm gonna apply concealer. Now I have foundation videos, I have concealer videos, so you can watch those to really get the details. But always apply foundation first. You wanna be able to see what you're working with. Um, you may need less concealer if you do your foundation first, then you apply concealer. You kind of really get to see what really needs to be, um, what's already covered, what you may need to cover just a little bit more. And I use liquid concealer around my eyes and then I have a stick concealer that I use uh, for the other areas. And so definitely catch my video about concealers. Now I'm gonna use a finishing powder to set my foundation and my concealer before I do any blush. Now again, I can't emphasize this enough. This is the order that I do my makeup. And again, I have really oily skin. If you have much drier skin, you may not need to set your makeup with a setting powder like I do. But I need to set it all in place because again, it's super oily and it just feels like it's just sliding off my face at the end of the day. So you're gonna have to decide 
what steps you might skip or what steps you might need to add based on your skin type. Next is when I apply blush and I definitely have a video for that so that you can get all the details. And if this is a day that I decide that I wanted to add just a little bit of bronzer for just a little bit of all over color and healthy glow, I would do it now after I did the blush. See, I keep getting my hair in my way. <laughs> That's why I do my makeup with my hair pulled back. Once I have all the color on my face, be it blush, if it's a day that I'm gonna do bronzer, now is when I would do any kind of contouring to my cheeks. So um, I have a video about that, so you can uh, definitely catch that. But at this point, this is when I would go ahead and do any contouring. Now I just like to add just a little something to my lips. It doesn't have to be the lip gloss that I will do at the end or anything like that. Again, I just wanna kinda of see what I'm working with. Now that I've got some color on my face, I'm gonna put a little something on my lips and then I will go ahead and start working on my eyebrows and eyeliner. Now it's time for eyebrows. Okay, my eyebrows are done. Now, before I move on to my eye makeup, I just want to say that since you're probably like me and you're using a magnifying mirror to put your makeup on, because I can't see without it, um, once you have your eyebrows on exactly the way you want them, since you have your magnifying mirror out, now is a really good time to get out your tweezers and clean up around your eyebrows. Without them, with a clean face, no eyebrows on, I tend to over pluck. I tend to pluck things that I shouldn't, you know what I mean? I look, work on hairs that need to be left alone. So once most of my makeup on is on, my eyebrows are on, that's a really good time to get in that makeup mirror, that magnifying mirror, and just really see what's kind of out there and what you can clean up a little bit because you have an idea of where your makeup is going to be, where you've got kind of stray hairs and what needs to be cleaned up. And then you can just take your little brush and you can kind of get it all out of the way if you've got little hairs that you plucked you can get them out of the way before you move on to your eye makeup I don't usually wear a lot of eyeshadow but if I am going to put any eyeshadow on this is when I do it and I generally put just a really kind of a nude color one color that's all I use on the lid And that's all I do because you saw me use my blush brush and just put a little color there I put a little bit of bronzer there also so if I'm gonna put if this is a day that I'm gonna put eyeshadow on and I don't do it all the time I only do one color and I just put it on my lid that's all I do and if you've watched my eyeliner videos, you know that I only do eyeliner on the top. I don't do it on the bottom, but generally top and bottom, I do a little eyeshadow stick just for a little extra definition, a little more color. So I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow stick and then I'll do my eyeliner. Now before I put mascara on, I'm gonna do two quick things. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter and you can watch my contour and highlighter video about that. And then I'm going to use a setting spray.
Now this is where I like to use a setting spray and I like to do it before mascara. First thing about setting spray, if you have drier skin, you may skip this step. You may choose to do that. Since I have oily skin or maybe if you have normal skin, a setting spray is a godsend. Let me just tell you, it just locks everything in place. I have two setting sprays that I really like, but I'm only going to use this one today because it'll just be easier to use since my hair is already done. I can just hold it out of the way, spray my face, let it sit for just a minute, and then I will do my mascara. Now, I like to do setting spray before I do mascara because I have found that if you get a little heavy handed with setting spray after mascara, it kind of glues your eyelashes shut. So, I like to do the setting spray, give it a few minutes just to set up, and then I do my mascara. And I do like an eyelash primer before I use mascara. I will link both of these, but I absolutely do an eyelash curler just to get them in place. Then I will do my eyelash primer and then I do mascara. Um, I will link this eyelash primer, like I said, in the description below. I love an eyelash primer. I've talked about it before, but Eyelashes are kind of like eyebrows these days, for me anyway, is I don't have as many as I used to, and so I need to find all of them. I need to put mascara on all of them to create that open-eyed, wide-eyed, awake look, and the eyelash primer definitely helps you do that. So now that I've got everything on, the only thing left to do, I'm not much of a lipstick girl, so I generally will just add a bit of lip gloss. Now, obviously, this is just the order that I do my makeup. Doesn't make it the law, it just makes it the way that I do it. So you decide what's gonna work for you and this is just a natural progression for me. You may add, you may subtract, but um, let me know if this is how you do it. Leave me a comment. Um, is it any different than the way you do it? Do you have any questions about anything? I would love to hear from you. So if you liked this video and it was helpful, I really appreciate it. If you would like this video, subscribe and definitely share it with your friends. I hope you'll come over and find me on Facebook and Instagram and say hi at Just Doing My Best. For now, I hope you go out today and you're blessed and you do your best.